the Zod Geeks. Welcome to today's lesson. I actually can't believe this week went by so quickly, but I really hope you all had a great weekend and weekend. And what better way now to end off our week than spending some time in God's presence. Now, if today is your very first time here with us, I'm Teacher Lazelle, and I'm just so happy that you decided to join in on all the fun that we're going to have here at Father's Heart Kids. Now guys, today we are actually back to normal with our lessons and we will be continuing where we left off before we started our Easter series. Now, if you guys perhaps missed the last three lessons, I really want to encourage you to go and watch them as we did an awesome series on what Easter is all about and what it means for us as God's children. And these lessons are actually really important. Because Easter is one of our biggest holidays that we celebrate as God's children. And it's actually very important to know why we celebrate it. So guys, with that said, let's actually now get started with our lesson of today. Quickly close your eyes so we can pray together. Dear God, thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for bringing us all together here at Father's Heart Kids so we can just learn more about you and your word. We just give this lesson over to you now and we ask that you would just come and have your will and your way in and through us. And Lord, as we praise and worship you today, please come and fill us up with more of you. In Jesus' name we pray this and we all say Amen. So, okay guys, let's get now ready to worship Jesus.
while, guys. That was just so much fun. Thank you guys now so much for dancing and singing with us for Jesus. So, guys, let's not wait any further and let's get to our story of today. Now, as you guys know, we are back to normal with our lessons and we're going to continue where we left off in our beginner's Bible. Now, the last story we did was called A Hole in the Roof. And our story was all about four friends who wanted to take their friend to Jesus so that he could heal him. Now, remember... Unfortunately, when they got to the place where Jesus was teaching, the crowd was way too big and there was no way for them to get their friend to Jesus. Well, except through the roof. So that's when they made a hole in the roof of the house where Jesus was preaching and they lowered their friend down where Jesus then healed him. Now, guys, from our story, we learned that good friends take their friends to Jesus no matter what. And we also learned that Jesus can do the impossible. But not only does he want to heal us physically, he also wants to heal us spiritually. Now guys, in today's story, we will once again see how Jesus does the impossible. So let's actually watch it now together and see what happens. Jesus calms the storm. Matthew 8 verse 23 to 27. Jesus and his disciples got into a boat. They wanted to cross the sea. Jesus took a nap. The waves gently rocked the boat back and forth. Suddenly a great storm came up. Waves splashed over the boat. Winds whipped around the disciples. They woke Jesus up and shouted, The boat is sinking! Don't you care? Jesus asked, Why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith at all? Then Jesus told the storm to stop. Right away it was calm. The disciples were amazed. They said to each other, Who is this man Jesus? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Wow guys, what an awesome story. Jesus is just so cool. I mean, there's literally just nothing that he can't do. I mean, how awesome is he that he can just tell a massive storm to stop and then immediately the storm stops. So this just goes to show us once again that nothing is impossible for God. Now, when actually looking at our Bible story of today, there are so many things that we can learn from it. So let's quickly look at a few of them. Now, the first thing that we can learn is God is with us through every storm in our lives. You see, guys, just like the disciples, we face many storms in our lives. Now, maybe it's not a physical storm in the middle of the ocean like the disciples faced, but our storms can be things like an injury to our body or maybe a loss of a family member or friend or even a hard time at school. So basically, a storm in our lives can be any hard situation we face and it can look different for each and every one of us. But no matter what our storm is, we must always remember that just like Jesus was in the boat with the disciples, Jesus is also with us through every storm we face. And this actually brings me to the next point. We must have faith in God and not panic and question God when we face a storm. You see, guys, in our story, we see how even though Jesus was with the disciples in the boat, they still panicked. And then they woke Jesus up and asked him if he even cared that the boat was sinking. Now, sometimes we feel and act just like the disciples. Even though Jesus is with us in the storm, we panic and start to ask if he cares that we aren't even suffering. Now, the answer to this is very simple. Of course Jesus cares, guys. I don't think for one moment that Jesus would let the disciples drown in that boat. You see, Jesus was calm and the storm didn't bother him because he knew his time to die had not yet come. And he had faith that everything was going to be okay. And in times when facing a storm, God wants us to do the same. God wants us to trust him and have faith that everything will be okay. You see, in the Bible it says, in this world, we will have troubles. In other words, we will face storms. But 
the Bible also tells us that everything will work out for the good of those who love the Lord. And we can actually see it happening in today's Bible story. Even though the disciples went through that storm, in the end, everything still worked out and no one drowned or got hurt. So the last thing that I want to talk about is we must ask Jesus for help when we face a storm. So in our story, even though the disciples panicked and questioned Jesus, at least they did something right. And that was asking Jesus for his help. You see, in our lives, we must learn that the only one that can help us when we face a storm is Jesus. He is the one that can do the impossible, guys. He is the one that can tell the storm to stop and then the storm obeys. So guys, next time when you face a storm and you're facing a very difficult situation in your life, always remember this lesson. Remember that Jesus is with you no matter what you face. So don't start to panic and question God like the disciples did when things look bad. Rather have faith in God and remember that everything works out for the good of those who love the Lord. Now, I'm actually sure there's still so much more that we can learn from today's story. But I think these three points will definitely now help us next time when we face a difficult time in our lives. So let's now see what craft we will be making today so we can remember the story of Jesus calms the storm. fun making it and do you guys know what the best part is all of you can make your very own one just like it at home all you have to do is go to the description of today's video and there you will find a blue link that you need to click on to download and print your craft now guys please remember once you're done with your crafts please send them in so we can share it with everyone in the following week's lesson and all you have to do to send it in is go to our Facebook page for this art kids and look for the craft post then you can leave your photo of your craft in the comment section of that post so guys i can't wait now to see all of your crafts and speaking of crafts let us see how you guys did with your crafts of last week's lesson jesus's resurrection <laughs>
Wow, guys, I couldn't be more proud. You guys did so well. Thank you so much for sending in your crafts and sharing it with everyone. You guys are awesome. So, come on, guys. For those of you who have never sent in a craft, try and send one in this week. We can't wait to hear from you. Now, who's ready to end off our lesson with one more song? I know I am. So, quickly get on your feet and let's go. Wow, guys, today's lesson was just so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, before we actually go, let's quickly pray. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that we just learned today from your word. Thank you for being with us in our storms. Please help us to keep calm whenever we face a difficult situation so we don't panic and question you. Please help us to remember everything we learned from today's story. And Lord, as we all now go our separate ways, please keep us safe and help us to shine our lights wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray and we all say, Amen. So guys, may you all just have a wonderful week to come. See you guys next week Sunday. Bye everyone.